In this video, we are going to see how to auto-generate articles using artificial intelligence. So let's say you have got certain titles which are the part of your Google Sheet or any other spreadsheet. And every time a new title is added there, you want that with that title, automatically an article should be generated. The same can be done using OpenAI which is an artificial intelligence and deployment company and helps you efficiently in creating content. And then you want that a document should be created and under the name of the same title and this particular information, the article that you have just received should become a part of that document. How can you do this? So for this you will have to integrate these three applications and the same can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Google Sheets and your action applications would be OpenAI and Google Doc. Now how can you set up this entire thing? and integrate the applications and automate the entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to auto-generate articles using artificial intelligence and here we are using OpenAI. So let's say that I have this Google Sheet, the name is OpenAI Articles. So I have got certain titles and the release date. Every time the sheet is updated with a new title for a different article, automatically my objective is that a document should be created under the same name and then an article should be a part of it. So let me show you the Google Doc. So this is my document and here you can see that automatically the entire article has been captured. Now how can you do this to understand this? Let's begin. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you already have an account, simply sign in. If you do not have an account with us, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So let's click on sign in and now here we have reached the all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. As we do that here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Here on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to auto generate articles using artificial intelligence. So this is how I'm going to name my workflow. Let's click on create. As we do that here we have reached another window which has got two very important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action is the response of our trigger. Now here the application that we are going to choose is Google Sheets. Why? Because as I had shown you, I have got different titles there with which I have to create articles. So here it would be new or updated spreadsheet row. This trigger event is the event that will make my workflow start. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL. This URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting the two applications Google Sheets and Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can have access to the information which is there on Google Sheets. Now, how am I supposed to set up this connection to understand that? First, I'm going to copy this and now I'm going to take you to the sheet that I have created. This is the Google Sheet that I have created. It is OpenAI articles. It has got two column fields, titles for articles and release date. You can see the sheet name as sheet one. Now, to set up the connection, we are going to go to extensions and then we are going to go to add-ons, get add-ons. As soon as we are here, we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Here we have to look for the application Pabli Connect Webhooks. Let's click on this. And you can see that this particular application is already installed on my system. So make sure that it is there. Once done, let's close this window, go back to extensions and you would be able to find Pabli Connect Webhooks here. So once you're here, you'll go to initial setup. Now here you can see that it has automatically captured the name of the sheet. And here I'm going to paste the URL that we have just copied and now the trigger column. So this trigger column is the final data column on which the data is added. Here you can see in this particular sheet it is B. So I have written B. Let's click on send test and here you can see that the data has been sent successfully. Now let's click on submit. 
and I'm going to close this. Go to extensions, again go to Pabli Connect Webhooks and make sure that you have checked on send on event. So once this is done, let's go back to Pabli Connect and as I scroll down here, you can see that we have received the response. We have received the column titles for articles. This is your title, then the release date, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID. So once you have received this, now my next objective is with this article, with this title, an article should be created through OpenAI. So now I'm going to choose my next application as OpenAI. Let's click on this. The action event here is to generate content. Let's click on connect. Here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the OpenAI account. To set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection. I have already logged into my OpenAI account and here I have to provide the token. How will we get this token? We have to go to this hyperlink as we click on this. Here you can see that this is the secret key, basically token. I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect, paste it over here and save. So once done here, Pabli Connect is connected with OpenAI. And now we have to fill in the information, select AI model, prompt, maximum token, select sampling time, etc. To understand the information that we need here, first I'm going to take you to my OpenAI page. This is my OpenAI website. You can reach here by typing openai.com. OpenAI is a well-known application for the creation of the GPT-3 model, which is a powerful deep learning model available for producing human-like texts. So here I'm going to go to API and then I'm going to click on login. So here we are. It is a very special application as it is not restricted to one particular use case. It provides a general purpose interface so the user can try any task in the English language. Here we are going to go to playground and now I'm going to show you some magic here. So what if I write, write an article on the title and here I'm writing the title is life is a bouquet of roses and I want that an article should be written on this particular title. I click on submit. So here you can see that it has automatically started to write an article which is exactly like human text. Now this is definitely interesting. The length of the article depends on the tokens that you have selected. To understand this, I'm going to take you to the settings part. So here we have got the mode, then we have got the model. Again here we have selected text relevancy 002. Why? Because this is the most capable model in the GPT-3 series. And then the temperature. Temperature basically controls randomness. As the temperature approaches zero, the model will become deterministic and repetitive. So if you do not want repetition, you have to go towards one. The maximum length. Now here it has given me a short article because I have selected the maximum length of my article as 256 tokens. You can change it and you can move up to 4,000 tokens. Then the stop sequence, this is very important. Stop sequence is where the API will stop generating further tokens. So you have to put a stop sequence. Let's say that it is double backslash, double hashtag. And I'm going to click on add. Now this is stop P, then we have frequency penalty, which decreases the model's likelihood to repeat the same line. And then we have presence penalty, which increases the model's likelihood to talk about new topics. These are the default settings. I'm going to go ahead with the same. Best of, again, it generates multiple completion server side and displays only the best. So you can go up to 10. Here I'm going to go for top three. And once done, I'm also going to show you one very important thing, which is view code. Let's click on this. Here you can see this is the prompt. Prompt is basically anything which is written before the response that we have received to we click on submit. So this is basically your prompt. Now that we have understood this entire thing, going back to Pabli Connect, here I'm going to write the prompt, which is write an article on the title and then my title here is I'm going to map this information mapping means that I have already have this information through the previous steps now I'm just going to retrieve it so going here this is the title for the article let's click on this 
once done maximum tokens so here we can say that i wish to have maximum tokens as 300 so going back here i'm going to write 300 now the sampling type so i'm going to go for temperature sampling we have two options temperature and nucleus sampling then the sampling value so this sampling value presents penalty and frequency penalty if you do not write anything it will take the default value which is 0 0.70 and 0 i'm going to go ahead with this and the stop sequence that we had selected there was double backslash double hashtag and now best of three let's click on save and send test request as soon as we do that here we can see that we have received the api response and this is the text basically my article so here you have all the six reasons and this is wonderful right now what is my next objective that a document should be created so my next application is google docs let's go here and the action event would be first i wish to create a blank document let's click on connect and again, I'm going to go to add new connection as public connect is asking to connect itself with the Google Docs account. Let's click on connect with Google Docs. I have already logged in. Let's click on the account that we have to choose. And here we have to click on continue to provide the authorization success. So here you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now the document name. So here I wish to create a document under the name of the title of my article. So going back to step one, this is the article's title. Now let's click on save and send test request. As soon as we have done that here, we have received the API response. And here you can see that this is the title. And if I take you down here, you can see that we also have received the document ID. Now I'm going to add another action step and going to choose the same application, which is Google Docs. Once selected, my objective this time is to append a paragraph to a document. Let's click on connect and I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection here. Once done here, I'm going to toggle this towards the right so that I can map the information, delete this. And here I have to map the document ID that we have just received. So let's go to step three. And here I'm going to go down and this is my document ID at last. Now the inserted text. So what text do I want? So first I want the title for which I'm going to go to step one. And then once my title is there, then I wish to have the text that I have just received through OpenAI. So let's click on OpenAI, go to text and once done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. Here you can see that this is a document ID and it is saying that the process is a success. Now this entire process is a success or not. To understand that, let me take you to the Google Docs. I'm going to refresh this page once. As soon as I do that here, you can see that this document with the name of the title has been created. Let's click on this. And as soon as I do that here, you can see that the entire article is right in front of you, which basically means that this entire process is a success. Now we also need to check it in real time. For that, I'm going to take you back to Google Sheets. And here I'm going to write another title, which is success is not a game of chance so this is the article's name so once written what is the release date let's say it is 12 10 2022 now as soon as this new information is a part of my google sheet what should happen first of all a document should be created and then an article should become a part of it so going back to documents and here you can see that a document has been created under the name success is not a game of chance. And as I click on this, this is my article. Now, isn't that fantabulous? So basically this means that this entire integration process is a success. Now I'm going to take you back to public connect to understand exactly what we have done. So here my first application was Google sheet, the trigger application and the event was new or updated spreadsheet rule. Then my action application was OpenAI where I had selected generate content. And finally, my action application was Google Docs where first I had created a blank document and then I had appended a paragraph to a document. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the same workflow that we have worked on. It is there in the description box. You can clone the same and process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any suggestion or advice, you can always write to us.
I hope this was helpful. To watch more such videos, you can always subscribe to our channel, which is there on YouTube. If you have any queries, you can write to us at forum.pavli.com. And if you want to know our pricing plans, then you can visit us at this particular site. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you have liked this video.